Hello, my name is Jonathan Leonard. I am a freelance science and medical reporter deeply involved in brain science, and I would like to tell you about how the brain works. Not how neurons work, not how your senses work. I want to tell you about how things like emotions, memory, sleep, consciousness, and dreams work within the human brain. We don't know the full story yet about any of these things, but brain science has revealed enough to go further than most people would think possible. So I would like to tell you about that in plain English, in terms that you don't have to be a neuroscientist to understand. This is not a technical presentation, but Rome wasn't built in a day, and it is not possible to tell all the interesting things I want to tell about the brain in one ten-minute video. So this talk has been organized into a series of short videos grouped under several major headings. After this introductory presentation, the next cluster of videos, Exploring the Brain, sets forth general rules by which the brain operates. Things like how fast the brain transmits messages, how it stacks up against computers, and how it coordinates its work. The next group of videos on how sleep works deals with our nightly roller coaster of sleep stages, the memory processing of sleep, sleep disorders, and things that we can do about sleep disorders. The third group of videos on memory tells how different sorts of memory work, why we cannot recall a lot of this memory consciously, and how we can reach some of that non-recallable memory during the memory processing of sleep. The fourth set of videos on emotions explains how emotions arise within the brain, how they can go awry, how they are intertwined with thought, and why they exert such a powerful influence upon our lives. The next group of videos, on consciousness, deals with what consciousness is, how it arises, why we have it, and what we know about its organization within the brain. And the final set of videos, on dreams, deals with what dreams mean, how they happen, how they can help us, and why they are so strange. All of these videos can be reached and viewed one at a time by going to my Brain Science channel. You can reach that channel, if you're not already there, by clicking on the words The Brain Channel that appear somewhere in the vicinity of this image. If you view those Brain Channel videos one by one, you will find yourself exploring a wide range of compelling brain science discoveries, and you will be well on your way to gaining a sound and useful understanding of your brain and how it works. Now, for those of you who are wondering, I would like to say a few words about how and why these videos were created. It's fair to say that no brain scientist would be likely to create them. That's because no scientist could do so without appearing to pander to the public or without encroaching upon the turf of fellow scientists. Now, in both cases, that's breaking the rules of science and running the risk of being shunned by members of the scientific community. But I'm not a scientist. I'm a mere reporter. I'm not shunned, but praised for telling what members of the brain science community collectively are doing. And so the story that I am reporting here is one that was made to be reported by me or by someone of my ilk. Now, I'm no stranger to reporting science. My father was science editor of Time magazine for 20 years, and I served as a contributing editor to Harvard magazine, doing feature articles on science and medicine for over a decade. In the course of my work, I did an article on a pioneer researcher in the field of brain science and dreams, a Harvard psychiatrist named Alan Hobson. Alan and I wound up doing a book together on the need to reform mental health care in the United States a book called Out of Its Mind, Psychiatry and Crisis, a book very relevant to current needs. Meanwhile, my experience in writing this book with a leading neuroscientist left me with a rich introduction to brain science. So a few years back, I decided to do a book on what brain science had discovered about dreams and the related subjects of sleep, memory, emotions, and consciousness, 
since we first began imaging the brain around 1990. I found that while brain science had not done much direct research on dreams in recent times, it had revealed a lot about those other subjects, both directly and indirectly, and in so doing it had presented us with a host of revelations, not merely about dreams, but about how the brain actually works. I put all this together into a book called Dream World, How the Brain Dreams and Why, that was written for a general audience. Like many new books, its initial reception was less than overwhelming. I found this very frustrating, because what I had come upon and what I reported in Dream World were many of the very things that humanity has been yearning to know for millennia about the workings of the human brain. For many reasons, none of them conspiratorial, the news was not being spread about in a form that the general public could understand, and I was convinced that these discoveries collectively deserved attention. So I decided to make a reporter's response. I decided to do these videos. They present what Dream World presents in a short form. They're not hard to understand. Anyone who has a few hours to spare can understand them. And as the book does in greater depth, they weave a remarkable tapestry of scientific revelation about sleep, about memory, about consciousness, about emotions, about dreams, and about how our brains actually work. Anyone who wants to delve further into what I have to say here is, of course, welcome to explore Dream World, which also provides an extensive set of references. Or if you'd like to pursue a list of highly selected recommended books, such a list appears at the end of the last video. In any case, I should like to welcome you to my brain channel, and I hope that you enjoy your visit.